It's the Random Wookie here with a few quick tips on navigating the different Wikipedia buttons. Alrighty, when you're signed into your account, along the top of the page is a menu bar, and that has a few tools in it. The first one over that we're going to look at is your username. This is a quick link to your user page. If this link is read, this means you do not have a user page yet. This is just a place to keep track of your accomplishment and let people know what you're about. Some users never even use a user page. So next to the username is the alerts and notifications icon. These icons let you know if there is an editing statistic that you made, so you made an accomplishment, your first edit, 10th edit, 100th, 1000th edit, something like that. This is also where you'll find notifications if someone leaves you a message on your talk page. You'll find these right here. And if you edit a page and that edit is reverted, you'll get a notification saying, hey, your edit was reverted. The sandbox is a special area that's not part of the published encyclopedia. It's an area just for playing around with the wiki stand text, or some people like to use it to work on articles before they're ready to publish. The watch list is a handy page that keeps track of pages you've watched. And if you actually want to watch a page, you click the little star there and that will actually just add the page to your watch list. I like to add pages that I've edited, just automatically add them to my watch list. That way I can see how they change over time. If you're doing a lot of vandalism hunting, you probably don't want to add them to your watch page. The contributions button is a link to see a list of all the edits you've made to Wikipedia. It shows them to you in groups of 50. At the bottom of the page, there are a few links to see some of your account statistics. All right, on the next row, there are a few more options, and these are related to the page you're actually looking at. The first one that says article is just a link to that Wikipedia article. So if you're looking at the history page or the talk page, you can just jump back to the article. Next over, we have the talk button. This is a link to that Wikipedia page's talk page. All Wikipedia articles actually have a talk page, and this is where editors discuss edits or changes to the article. And then over there, we have the edit source or view source button. This is where you can go to edit the page, click on it. And then from here, you can use a visual editor or the source editor to make your changes. The view history button is probably one of my most used buttons next to edit is this allows us to see a history of the page, who's editing it, how often is it edited, what content is being changed. It's just a handy way to track, you know, is there vandalism or something that shouldn't be happening on this page? I can find that with the view history page. Every edit that's ever been made is saved in the history and there are very few exceptions to actual entries being deleted. Alrighty, that sums up some of the buttons on Wikipedia. We'll come back next time for some actual editing.